Okay guys, so this is how bad it all looks. All right, so I removed all the insulation, sound deadening and stuff like that. You know, there's some holes right there, right there, and right there. So I have to dig deeper. I have to go ahead and, you know, I also cleaned a bunch of stuff. Uh, I still need to like get a grinder and actually clean all this the right way. But as I can see how bad it is, I mean, this is, these cars are 40 years old right now and you have one of these cars, W124, W126, W123, you have to pull this insulation off and uh, check everything and uh, clean all the rust off if there's any in the weld, uh, the floors. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, and I have to pull this seat, I already removed a bunch of carpets. Uh, have to pull this seat out and clean start cleaning over there too So and I have to remove the center console guys and uh, as you can see remove everything here because this piece has to come off and also I Started lifting this because there's water getting to it because the battery tray is like rusted and there's a hole underneath so this will all be uh, coming off also, this is how much sound deadening I picked up from there. A lot of like rust flakes and all the other stuff. So yeah, guys, it's pretty nuts. And I don't know how much this weights. Feels like it's like two pounds at least, maybe more. All right, the seat is unbolted. I'm ready to take it out right now. So you guys are gonna ask me, how's it going? I'm gonna say one thing that uh, if you own one of these cars, you should definitely do the same thing and remove all the sound deadening and insulation on your floors and check everything and repair. Uh, because this car actually, I mean, it needs a lot of work. Uh, so you'll be getting it right now. I'm currently removing the seat and it's actually a pain because It's like everything's so rusted. So but I got the seat loose, okay, and of course, you know, I already knew that there's gonna be surprises You know some coins right there uh, early Christmas gifts some bolts um, A bunch of junk What I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually grab those um, coins <laughs> Um, and of course I'm wearing gloves and everything. I'm gonna put them in the vinegar and soak them and we'll see how old they are, you know, just curious. Other than that, it's all off. Actually, it's funny because when I peeled this carpet, there was, uh, the paint came off with it. So I put grease temporarily so it doesn't rust. Um, but yeah, guys gonna be doing a lot of stuff to this car okay so this is just as you can see this is just the insulation so you have to actually peel that insulation off and see how it is um, and what I like to use is um, I like to use this guy so it's actually really handy it breaks all that insulation off um, Literally, there's no metal. Somebody already tried to put like a patch in there, but it's just uh, Held on with the bolts, whatever. It's I don't like that way And there's another surprise right there. Okay So I'll have to remove the center console as well for that And all that guys. Yeah, it'll be fun Okay, and there's gonna be a lot of cleanup of course but yeah, my plan is to remove the seat. Uh, as soon as I remove it, I'm gonna show you some more. But yeah, I wanna remove the seat and center console today and start scraping all this deadening, uh, sound deadening off and so I can expose the metal and uh, start cleaning all this junk, kinda get it all ready for welding. All right guys, so the seat is removed and it's chilling right there. And this is what we have. All right, so I just pulled this. Okay, we have some surprises along the way. 
a lot of old coins, some screws and stuff, and nuts as well. So, and key. Looks like somebody wants me to break into their house or something. They just leave the key over there like that. That's. Yeah. There's the hole. So I'm gonna start cleaning all this stuff and I need to remove this uh, center console. All right, guys. All right, guys, some progress. Removing the uh, center console right now. Uh, the hardest thing uh, is gonna be that bolt, that screw that's so rusty, so I sprayed it with penetrant already. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take it off pretty soon. And yeah, she's coming along. I'm slowly tearing her apart for all this stuff, for all the future repairs. And it's a beautiful day today, guys. Don't you just love when you have rusty bolts like that one? It just will not come out. And I was able to loosen up the washer. This was so rusty that it just wouldn't go anywhere. But the washer moves, so I have to figure it out. But yeah, I'm about to. Um, take out this center console and yeah I'm continuing to work on the floors actually it really sucks because uh, over here um, the sound editing is actually pretty thick but over here it gets thinner so like it's pretty hard to peel it off and I don't have the uh, blowtorch I mean uh, yeah I don't have any like uh, heat guns or anything so mm, that kind of sucks uh, so I just have to go uh, this route and uh, Yeah, as you can see, I mean everything is in pretty poor shape um, So that's why I need to take this uh, center console off to inspect some more areas and start cleaning all this stuff and to start getting it ready for um, Restoration pretty much Finally this thing is coming out and by the way, this wasn't me. I think they added some of this uh, this secondary uh, cigarette lighter slash charger, so it wasn't me. But anyways, I got this bolt screw out finally. Oh boy, it was a, a little bit of a pain. So yeah, when you have these bolts, make sure you either get stainless steel or put a lot of grease when you put them back. Way they will not rust because when they rust no good we're gonna be dealing with problems like that Here it is so so far this is how much stuff I gathered up from all the sound deadening and stuff. Yeah, a lot of it. 